Yeah, you know what's going on. Chat Shot Podcast back again. You know the vibes. Drink a juice. Don't talk nothing too loose. You forgot to hold the vibes. Eh? You forgot to hold the vibes. Well, that's what I was waiting for you to intervene, <laughs> seeing if you're on form, innit? Well, obviously, big up Mr. P, Wickedest Edibles. Big up Iconic, get your latest designer clubber. Big up mm. my G, Keem. Big up yeah. the Salmon, Salmon Cardo. Big up Every Times. Time. Obviously, right now, let me introduce the latest guest. To the show, the legendary mm-hmm. DJ Big Mikey, a veteran out here. Yeah, yeah. welcome. Me, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, hey, man, it's calm, man. What are you saying? How's things keeping? All right, man. Obviously, we're just getting through this pandemic thing. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> you get me? So, yeah, I've been doing my thing and that, just grafting and just keeping so it. So, has it been a hit really. for you, the pandemic? Not, well, not really. You know, in one aspect, like, I can work more. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But obviously, the other aspect is the DJ left, isn't it? Mm. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Now mm. that and especially like last year when it happened, the mm-hmm. festivals and everything was going on in out here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, for me, it was just an opportunity to work more. Okay, you know what I mean? Okay. Seriously. Like, okay. spend time with the family and that. Yeah, yeah that, so you were still getting booked out like before the pandemic, though? Yeah, before the pandemic, I had, um, you know, a few bookings and obviously. NAS festival that I normally do every mm-hmm. year that was coming up as well. But then obviously the pandemic happened and then Yeah yeah. You know what I mean? Everything just got just mm-hmm. lock off really, isn't it? Yeah, that, yeah, we're gonna get to them bookings, but we're gonna take it back and yeah, take it back, man. Where just, you started just, just from back. where you originated from. Yeah. Um, well nineteen ninety nine. Them times that's when I first mm. that joined easy. Silk. That's when I first joined Silk. What mm-hmm. before that? Before that, I weren't even a DJ. Mm. It was just DJ Roots used to leave his debts at mm-hmm. my mum's house. Mm-hmm. Um, him and my brother, Poverty P, used to do sets like this. I is heard just of Poverty like, P, that's yeah. your brother? Yeah, that's my younger brother. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so him and DJ Roots used to do sets. These times, like, I, DJ didn't even bother me or anything mm. like that. I was just, you know what I mean? I was just doing my thing. And then um, I just come there and I've just seen the decks and me being me, like, Fast, <laughs> getting in, start turning them on, and obviously I know what there was, but you know what I mean. Them times I didn't have no inspiration or yeah, I'm gonna be. But what tunes was what tunes was running them times? They were like old school jungle tunes, kind of mm. roots. He was rootsy set up, and mm. he bought okay. them there. He was doing sets with my brother and whoever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. So that was the genre you first was introduced to was the jungle tune when you first started it. Um. Well, yeah, drum, jungle, drum, drum and bass, and bass garage, yeah. and the old school, 4x4, four four, Todd Edwards. Well, obviously, I know about music, like, way before that, innit? Like, yeah, obviously, yeah. I'm in my late 40s now, so, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I've come through that sort of era of where you grew up with, like, yeah, what your parents listened to. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the old school ragga, the John Holt, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. obviously, in my teens, when I started to listen to things like, Acid House and Jungle Techno and them sort of things. You get me? And you sort of like... I don't know them things. <laughs> so, it's it's uh, old, uh, like, uh, you're uh, talking uh, like in my teens. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know what I mean? I've always known about music, but that the time when I've come to my mum's and seen the decks there, obviously nobody's there. I've just, you know what I mean, come in and I'm like, yeah, let me see what's going on and just start to just... Yeah, mixing roots, his tunes. If you're true, if you're true, music man, I think that's how you do it, you know. Because I, had, my bedroom had some decks in his ass one time. Yeah, big up, Lance. Could DJ. I, I, I had a yeah. one or two week period. Yeah. Where I thought I was gonna be the wickedest DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I could do is just. I you know, tried like, DJ through lockdown, but bloody work for me. So. <laughs> I Your thing would have shut down if you became a DJ. I might jump back on it, but I said, I'm going to run my jump back on it. Carry on, though. Yeah, yeah, nah, but that's what I'm saying. You tried it. It's a real music, man, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, just try it. If you yeah. tried it then. And then I just kept, obviously, every time I come to my mum's and the decks are there, I'm just jumping on them until it's like, yo, this is, this is live. Mm. And he left the decks there for months. Mm. Months, like, I'm not telling him tech them, they're just there, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the more I'm using them, the more I'm thinking about, like, nah, I'm going to have to get my own because there's going to be a time when Roots is going to come and take his decks. So obviously, yeah, yeah. till then, I'm just using them, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. still then, there was no thoughts yeah. in my head of, yeah, you're going to... How old was you around this time? 
about 20, 23 probably. Okay, okay. Yeah, 23, 24 them ages. So what, so what MCs was, right, then you're, you're, what you do mixing jungle and drum and bass and 4x4 four four and, or, I mean not 4x4. Four four. What, when I first went to Silk or them times when I was just doing when, it in my Yeah, when you're just training, bedroom. when you're just training in, the, in your mum's bedroom, in the bedroom. Yeah. Like, what was on the radios or what was, I know you say you was listening to your mum's music and that, but what was going on around you? Who was, them, who was running it? Them times it was more, it was drum and bass that we was listening to at that time. So and bassman like you busting up. Yeah, bass, yeah. yeah bass, <coughs> bassman was around. He's been time, around for yeah. years, bassman as, you know. Um, but there was other, there was things like Rat Pack. Mm. I mean, a lot of the... I love you, know, this is before my history, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You're telling us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't Trump, know Rat Pack, yeah. but I need to, these are from yeah. Bremen, what not? Or, nah, I had okay. a, you know what, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm presuming like they were from London, because okay, that's where okay. mm-hmm. most, you know what I mean, the drum and yes. bass scene was a mixture of London and obviously different artists mm-hmm. around, mm-hmm. but there was more London artists. Uh, for the drum and bass scene. Mm-hmm, and we're yeah. talking early drum and bass, we're talking Ragga Twins mm. days, we're talking early days of Skibby D. And when I mean early, I mean uh, no, early one. him and DJ Wildchild. It was them sort of mm. era. You know what I mean? So obviously one day Roots had took his decks. I'm not even going to lie, I've come <laughs> home and I'm devastated. <laughs> God, all day I'm out, I'm just thinking about, yeah, I'm just going to jump on the decks when I get mm. back. And when I've come back, the decks are missing. God, mm. like devastated. Not think next day, newspaper called bargain pages. <coughs> Listen, I'm just bargain jumped, pages. Yeah, just jumped in them, <laughs> scattered a pair of decks, and the guy who sold it me is from Hansworth. You get me, and he sold 150 pound for a pair of decks, mixer, basic headphones. Sounds he like a bargain, isn't it? Yeah, he 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 dashed, in a few, like a he dashed in a few jungle records just to sort of. I mean, like, he didn't just sell me the raw decks. He gave me a few records so I can go and mix. Okay. And then from then, I just obviously started buying my own. Where was he buying records from? What's it called? What's that shop called? Tempest or something? Tempest. Like yeah, that. Tempest. Was Tempest, that back around, like, back them times? Yeah, if Tempest was around back them times. I'm not sure if it was actually called Tempest, though, what okay. it was in that, that, that same little position. I remember going there. But then you had, um, you had, it was like Summit Records as well. I remember that one. You know what I mean? And then you had your little odd record shops that you could just get a little one and two bits from like it's, it's, it's a long time yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean it was all the shop in Digworth I, I can't even remember what the shop's called but you could just get one of the little bits and bobs from there mm-hmm. you know what I mean and just start to you build up your collection mm-hmm. and so you got beer vinyls from way back when how much would you say your collection's worth like mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> you know me you know me <laughs> <laughs> figures how much would you say you spent on them Oh, you know what? A lot of them, a lot of them, I ain't even got again. You know, especially the old drum and bass ones. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot of the, the, you know, different reasons why they've dispersed. But I, I spent loads of money on. Mm. Well, let's just say I spent grands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even yeah. when you want to step into sort of like Dubs. dub plate spending I mean, as well. What my question was. This is the thing. I mean? You know, you see back then, yeah, there was a thing where like. A DJ never have access to every record. Mm. Like certain man had to buy a record. Mm. If you had that, he was the hot man. Like was it investment? You get mm. what I'm trying to say. But now the game's changed. Everyone mm. can just download, bam, yeah. bam, bam. You think everyone's you changed with the times well. You evolved well with the times from like it's switching over from. Um, uh, from I don't know. I, rec- I, I prefer I prefer records and CDs. I prefer physical. But mm. obviously, it is what it is, isn't it. So I've had to. What do you think of them man? They're like trying to become a, a laptop DJ like training on the laptop each, you have no thoughts on that each, each, to, each to their own each sure. to their own that's not the way I want to do uh, it I just want to do it like on decks or even a controller a that so that, that represents that? decks as long as it's yeah. decks and I'm mixing myself and I'm selecting myself yeah, then I don't enough mind enough man just to sink the sink in it or whatever it is now isn't it? The, the, as I said it's, <laughs> it's, 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 each, it's each to their own yeah. that's not for me because yeah. I don't think Syncing is you doing it. Syncing mm. is computerized, DJ, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. somebody else is is <laughs> doing it, and it. That's <laughs> obviously that's not for me. You know what I mean? Mm. I, personally, I wish they never invented the sync button, but mm. that sync button has has made other people DJs. You know what mm. I mean? And it, it, it's 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 what you want to see as a viewer. Because I've never heard a good mixing along. You know, like. When a DJ mixes, to blends two tunes in, yeah. and you get me, and it's monks mm. like yo. 
I ain't like, heard a DJ do that in a while. Like, Jeezy could do that. If you watch the yeah. Chop Shop party. If we when we release Bushkin. the footage, yeah, 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 we'll the footage. whenever that comes out. Jeezy and Bushkin, you hear it on that? Yeah, but, it's true, it's true. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, like, yeah. before it used to be about the mix. Yeah. Now it's just about who's got the best branding. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Man, I just run in tunes, yeah. And just like. And then yeah, the next yeah, one's yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, me. yeah, yeah. But the crowd's yeah. not appreciating it. The crowd don't care. I would say back in the day, people <clears throat> listened out for it a bit more. Yeah, they like, you know when what's coming? Like, yeah, what's coming? To the, yeah, yeah. We're going to the <laughs> grime set. In, we're going to grime and in a bit and garage. Like people would understand. Yo, my man's a sick mixer. That mm. tune's coming mm. in. He mixes it and brings it back out. Mixes it back in. Mm. Whatever. But now, it's not that. You get what I'm trying to say? But I hear it. As you said, like. Times is always gonna like mm. move forward, and it? Mm. It, it it's about enjoying them times, and them times where the people did appreciate the mix. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And, and now it's time to to, to move on. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you know I mean, because the, the equipment's evolved, so obviously the way how the people use it is gonna change as mm-hmm. well. Even like social media, how are you finding adapting to social media coming from the old school? You know what? I'll be totally honest. I've got yeah, social. Tell me, tell me, I've talk. got social media because it's what's in the times now. But I use it, but not as much as I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not me. I've, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, yeah, I have, yeah, you know what I mean? I have social media, and I go on it when I feel like it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I don't feel to go on there for three, four weeks, then I saw it go. Like I'm, so good, uh, I'm not here to do, keep do, up no do appearances you miss for no by one. Doing that though? Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> probably do. But you know what I mean? That, like as I said, like music's never been my main form of income. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like I have a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'd spent all them years training to do to oh, work you with young, yeah. yeah, to work with young people, to do yeah. coaching, to to work in care. Like that's yeah, yeah. I spent same as I spent years being a DJ. I spent longer mm-hmm. training to do that. Yeah, yeah. What are you youth worker? No, I work in a care home, so okay. I'm a care worker. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean and I spent years doing that years of written qualifications years of going back and doing that maths English and you know what I mean diploma level 3 I'm literally just finishing a level 5 now and, and all heap of that all heap of that you know different mm-hmm. qualifications so you know what I mean I've got a working life that yeah, yeah. I've trained for and that I'm passionate about but yeah. then I've got music that I'm also passionate yeah, yeah. about as well music was more of a hobby and not like a yeah like yeah a for, profession. yeah for me definitely and it's just yeah. one of them where I'll take opportunities mm-hmm. as and when they call me if I miss them then so be it because I always yeah. used to wonder how come like you've never like took an artist on like mm-hmm. management or like develop an artist or I, I, like I, I haven't got the time to do that. I mm-hmm. have. I really haven't got the time to do that. Um, and obviously, it's a shame because if I spent, you know, what I mean, <laughs> yeah, if yeah, I yeah. if I could stop working and do that, then that mm-hmm. would sort of be the road that I would go down. But yeah, yeah. you know, what I mean, I've worked so long to get where I am in my working life that mm-hmm. I just can't do that. It, it's hard enough balancing the two. Like, yeah. you know, what I mean, being being a being a mm-hmm. DJ being a care worker and also being a dad as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's not there's not enough hours in the day True. to be juggling all that. So I'm yeah. finding myself up late at night and that mm. is when I do music. You know what I mean? In the daytime, whatever, I do my job. Mm. Kids as well. Mm. And then when everyone's gone to bed and it's like, you are off in our way, yeah. That's when the computer turns on and, you know what I mean? That's when you can sort of do your thing. So that's how I've sort of been balancing it at the moment. Hear that. So how did you find the time to um have the clash? Was it a clash you and um Logan Sam? Logan. Yeah, yeah. How did that come um, about? Well, obviously your man them will know that yeah, Mikey's got dubs. Because obviously if you go to a <laughs> go to a studio, <laughs> you vocally yeah. and certain man are there, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah, Mikey got a dub, Mikey got you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. obviously I've got dubs off Jammer as well and I've had to mm-hmm. go through him and even Logan to get dubs off different artists. Mm-hmm. Could I just pause you there? Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you have a dub? Did you do the um, candy shop dub with Deadly back in the day? No, Deadly made that Swear tune. Down, but yeah, Deadly yeah, made, but yeah, that yeah, that that's, yeah that's yeah. He says your name on that. Door yeah, that is my dub plate. That okay. is that is literally that one tune. Yeah, yeah, like, that but one Deadly hard, made that, that tune. 
yeah, yeah. Deadly made, deadly made the candy shop. Okay, too. okay. You know what I mean? And deadly made bounty hunter on YouTube. Everyone thinks I made it. I didn't make that. Deadly okay. made it. And deadly made the candy shop as well. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, and obviously we. I'm sure it was Swifter, uh, Swifters, we've all called that, um, with Crazy Titch on it as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wooligan Studio is yeah, Swifter yeah. that, that, that um, recorded that for us at that yeah. time. That was just one of them spontaneous things where, you know, yeah. Titch come down, obviously we linked up, Deadly was around at that time, so he was like, yeah, boom, you know what I mean, Font Swifter, like, oh, can we get access? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Swifter's like, come, you get me, we've just gone there. Proper, proper. Yeah, so what you say, so how did that come about then? Because both years had dubs as DJs. Yeah, well, yeah, we, you know, when Jammer just thought it was probably the right time for it to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Obviously, Logan thought that it was the right time and that I was the right opponent. Because obviously, Logan's fussy. He's not just going to clash at any and anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like he wants, he wants competition. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? So how would you so, say the outcome was? Did you say think you won that one? No, nah, it was fair. It yeah, was yeah, fair. Yeah. I thought there was when I've analysed it after, there was a lot more other slammers in my sack that I didn't get to play. Okay. You know what I mean? And I still haven't played them, still today just kept them. Uh, you know, you know what, what it mean? was? I didn't even get to see this one, you know. Was it just chain for chain? Um what was like it? Like dub for dub. It was yeah, it was dub, yeah, it was dub. It was chat are you giving it chat yeah, giving yeah, it yeah, lyrics yeah, before yeah, you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything keeps going. Because you seem quiet to me, you know, like. Now, nah, Mike has got chat, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's quiet, bro. He's quiet, bro. You know what? He's 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 Natu like naturally, I'll be a quiet person. Yeah. If I haven't got nothing to say, I won't say it. But mm. come water him, like that's, okay. a <laughs> that's a different, that's a different Mikey there on stage. You okay. know what I mean, like okay. when it's war time, like a different Mikey will come out. You get me? Obviously, like this is me. Mm. But, mm. Mm. You know, when you're in a clash, you have to come different. Yes, mm -hmm. You have to. You get me? And I grew up mm -hmm. around the, the sound man thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So this whole, you know what I mean? The whole clashing thing, it, it just brought it back. You know what I mean? To them times. Because my, my uncle's sound was now generation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I was around it a lot as a youngster. You know what I mean? And then that's where the whole sort of dub cut in, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Sort of roots has come from like yeah, watching yeah. watching my uncle you know yeah. what i mean phone okay. artists and get dubs what's your favorite dub that you've got oh man, there's a few you know Name yeah, them there's a few them. i got a roachy dub okay. i like that one i got a discarder dub like that mm. one just discard is hard you know shuts <laughs> down every <laughs> time discarder. you know what i mean i've got um obviously the skepta dub's one of my favorites as well mm. the footsie dub you know what i'm hearing though big man yeah, London man's in there, you know. If you give us the brum oh, dubs, there are no bro, brum dubs coming. Oh, I've got, I've got more brum dubs oh, okay, than I have. Right. I'm just naming yeah, you, okay. like, some sorry, of my favourite. Sorry, favorite. sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know sorry. what I mean? Like, I have a lot of brum dubs. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's all right, then, because that's grime, innit? But you started on, like you was getting to then, you was on, started on Silk, was it? Yeah, yeah, Silk. But Silk's um, not grime, was it? Back wasn't then? at the time. Grime weren't even out then. Okay. Grime weren't even out then. It was it was Garage, and I come on... Back to back with just being or doing drum and bass. That's me not done. Yeah, that's me not done. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Name. <laughs> so if you want me to be totally real about it, you know what I mean. Them times, just being was carrying me mm -hmm. as a DJ, and yeah. that I have to keep it real. Like mm -hmm. that is yeah, the yeah. real of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't come there with no name or mm -hmm. nothing. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I just come there with a bag of tunes and just mm -hmm. a passion of just wanting to. But you got you come with a bag of tunes, so you 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 kind of the man because you know their selecting's going on. So yeah, but well obviously just being on a bag of tunes as well. Okay, but when you right. put them both together, and it's you're both mad. selecting, you yeah. get me. It's, 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 there's a vibe there. But yeah. obviously, I've known just being all for time anyway, mm. and I've known C for time. Mm. You know what I mean, like when when we was younger, my nan lived in Highgate. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean, C lived a few doors away, and obviously, just being all his younger brother. So okay. all the time when I'm at my nan's in Highgate, this is like as a mm -hmm. youth, you know what I mean? You're talking like 10, 11, 12, them sort of ages. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're interacting, C lives a few doors away. So I've, I've sort of grew up with C, just being off, mm. you know what I mean? And mm. then obviously there'll be a bit of a gap in time where you don't see them, but I'm always in contact. And then I remember C for me, it's like, yo, Mikey, I'm going to put a station on, you know. I'm like, oh, no, you're not. He's not putting on no station. Mm -hmm. It's like, watch. And then he's like, his phone again, say, like, yo, it's nearly ready, you know. And then one day he's phoned and he's gone, turn your um, 
It's like them Walkman things. It was a Walkman, but it had a radio yeah, the on radio it. Walkman, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. telling you, like, turn it to this frequency. What frequency was it? Was 106 it point something. It was 106. Like yeah, 107.3. Yeah, but I remember, bro. One, yeah, yeah, 107 yeah. 107.3, blood. Yeah. 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 Then you had Smooth 94.4 and Passion 92.4. You know I mean? Yeah. When I've yeah. turned the headphones on and he's asking me, like, yo, what's, what's playing? I'm like, like, yeah, this tune's playing. It's like, yeah, that's the station. That's my yeah. station. It's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. had the station up and running, even though, like, it was. I mean, we're talking like it was like a bedroom of a flat. Mm. You know, like a high-rise flat. You go in there and it's just one, yeah. the smallest <laughs> yeah, yeah. bedroom. You know what I mean? With your basic equipment, so your two vinyls, oh, but, uh, your What's mixer. that show called? What's that show called? Um, on BBC One or something. You know, in the, in the, in the corrupt FM, like in the, in the flat. <laughs> yeah, like, that, like, and that, that, that was the real of it. That's, yeah. that's, you know what I mean? That's what it was. It was in a, it was in a bedroom in a block of flats. You know what I mean? And somebody <laughs> lived in the yard, so you had to have the door closed and the music had to be sort of moderate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, them times, it's, 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 it's straight pirate. Yeah, you know when you had the phone lines, we used to ring a lot? It moderates, and it? it depends, like, what times and, you know what I mean, who's playing and that. Obviously, in my show, there was always interaction. You know what I mean? <laughs> always, but not every show popped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm some shows so where... Got the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens, it happens. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. depends what time you're playing in that. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, sometimes, like, I used to do some serious night shifts. Yeah, like, I've got nothing shifts. to do. I've just, yeah. yeah. Boom, let me go there and DJ. You get me? Like, like two o'clock to, like, six. You know what I mean? You're not mm-hmm. getting any interactions. You get that odd one or two texts. And it was... I didn't busy them times. I was just mm-hmm. sort of glad that I was on radio. I mean, because them times it weren't, it weren't easy to get on silk. Mm. You know what I mean? I so come in the drum and bass route and I was there. Was saying, was there. You get me? You started in the drum and bass route. So when did you start patterning over to the uh, garage first? When yeah. opportunities came. Oh, yeah. I can't do my show. Can somebody do this show? Oh, right, yeah. there's an opportunity yeah. there. You know what I mean? So while I was doing drum and bass, every garage bit I heard that I liked in the shop, I'd buy it. Okay. I'd buy it until I built up half decent sack and as okay. soon as them shows come where people can't do it there were garage DJs I would just jump in and yeah. cover their show yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean so there's them times you had like Nitrate on the, the station yeah, um, yeah, Tomic and Jerry Kev know. Madiri DJ Everton Andy Chambers um, Caprice Royal you know what I mean there were there were, there were loads it's of early days, isn't it? yeah very the early like 1999 yeah. I, know, I mean all, the, all these these are all big man now. Yeah, yeah, we got the big man them. Yeah. 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 For the dogs them. You know what I mean? Obviously, Nitrate's still. Yeah, DJ, yeah, I know that Nitrate's one. I know that name. It. Yeah, and he's been on there. Yeah, like, I know that name. He's me. a bigger man, like you. You just yeah. know DJ Everton's a big man. Yeah, though. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah. know my man's a big man. Bro. Seriously, how did you like yeah. um Yeah, you're saying you navigated over to the garage and you got the opportunity in it. Yeah, yeah. So, and what do you think? What did you think of the garage scene when like you broke into it? It was good. It was, it was good. good, man. There was, you know, there was a lot of vibes there. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? I played, played at a good few garage places. Like obviously, I got the opportunity from um, from Harmonies, and it. Okay. Which was mm. obviously always like wanted to go to a Harmony. Well, that know, would be my. Era, it was one you know. couple of years ago, but that nah, weren't the, the not same. Not the same. Thing. I want to. I want to be saying. skanking. Oh, Listen, like, like, Harmony days was skanking out. Yeah, yeah <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, but yeah, now yeah, yeah, nah, Wolves. It was meant to be in time. Was Wolves. But yo, Harmony, but it was just... Here we go, we've seen your bedroom, man. Oh, we went? Mm-hmm. Harmony was a vibe, man. I can't remember, yeah. I can't remember, but what I'm saying, I don't know, like, I want to go to the old school Harmony, Harmony like, Harmony, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, like, trust me, I always wanted to go well, to the club and the key club and them yeah, thing there, yeah, like, that's yeah. all I heard about Champ- key club. Club. Champagne Friday, yeah. I don't know Porsche what I heard of that, yeah, yeah Porsche yeah, club, yeah, you know what I mean, there was, there, was, there, was a, there was a vibe there, you know what I mean, there was a... Lots of skanking out, you know, good mm. mixture of male and female. So you man used I mean? to go to the garage dancing suits and yeah, and yeah, it was a dress up thing, man. There was no track, there was no track suit them yeah. days. <laughs> like, <laughs> people actually went home and got changed. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> sweetened up and went out. You get it, and you know them. Them days are good, man. But as you said, like yeah, you have to move with the time. Was the first it? MC to brock up one of your sets that like, you can think? Yeah, man, he damaged that. Oh, bloody hell. 
There's been loads, you know. So when you jump like into the garage scene doing them sets and that. Yeah. MCs are there as well. So what MCs are around doing their thing? At that time? Yes. At when you were first. You know, G- you, yeah. GT. Yeah, GT is yeah. GT's legendary, you know. He's, he's, he's been going. Rider. Yeah, Rizlipi. Rider. 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 cold, bro. Yeah, Rizlipi. Yeah, Rizlipi. They got Rizlipi. Give me two shots now, put up, yeah. <laughs> MCC. Badness as well. Badness. Yeah, badness. Yeah. Because Badness come on when I was still doing drum and bass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that different kind of wave though. Like he did you know I mean? singing, singing to an MC. MC Jedi, Lyrical, mm. Scandal. Mm. Um, Savage, Curious, Nitrates, MCs as well. <coughs> I mean, so that was sort of I'm trying to think if there's any more. Cause I don't Lyrical. Always used to be on with DJ Essence, aka okay, Jedi. You know, what I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. it's it's no secret. But yeah. So them were the, the the MCs that were first about, like mm. in, in 1999 in Rum. Mm-hmm. There was other MCs about mm-hmm. it, but I'm talking mm-hmm. about that was on Silk. Mm-hmm. You yeah, get yeah, me? Because yeah. obviously on other stations you had people like Power Hill. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? the NRG, the and man, you know what I mean? Like people can't forget mm. them just because there wasn't on silk. They were still mm. smashing it mm. over say, mm. on, on the other stations. Low key, mm. crew, low you know, key. as they yeah, as yeah, they're gonna yeah. get low key. MDR yeah, yeah. one up here as, yeah, yeah, yeah. as they come. I'll just spit them out. Mm. Messy mm. organization. You know what I mean? They mm. was on different radio stations, mm. which was still like your nineteen ninety nine two thousands early times. Mm. You know what I mean? So there was a. It was a Brum Foundation there. The, the thing is, it was never documented. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, because thing, if it was, we'd probably be having a different conversation. Yeah, that's now. the thing. I think a lot of Birmingham's got a lot of lost files. Of course, mm. loads. Uh, loads of lost files. Like, I can't believe there's some of these MCs that walk in the road now, like, and they're not being hailed as kings. That yeah, yeah. Doctor, Doctor, yeah. yeah. Doctor. Mike, man. Mm. You get Mike, me? Oh, oh my God. Mike, Mike's man. man is a real yeah, Mike's yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to come with the swing. No, man. Mike's man. Change. My people have seen <laughs> Mike's man in traffic. So I'll stop the car. And he's just spitting. Like, this is just, <laughs> yo. It's it's mad. Mike, man's me. been doing that from, from dance hall days. Like, mm. when, when I was younger, mm. you know what I mean? I used to go to dances and listen to Mike, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to see him on them old school... Rag, you know, we're talking blues, like mm. yard blues is like in the house. Them things don't happen no more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We're talking in somebody's house where they've literally stripped it for the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. A sounds come there, which was Love Express. Mm-hmm. You get me? And you, you've got Mike Man that's there. And as mm-hmm. youths, we were going there and listening to him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mike Man is an absolute beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? He's, he's, he's Mike's man, man. He can do what Vader does. See, like Vader can yeah. roll off his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, Mike's yeah. Man's another one of them that can mm-hmm. do that as well. You know what mm. I mean? And, you know, a, a lot of people don't ever mention Mike Mann and mm. Smoke Dog. Smoke Dog. Smoke Dog. Them men are, are veterans. Yeah, of course. As man. well. You need to line up an old school set courtesy of Trap Shop, you know. Trust you me. Draft in them old yeah, names, you know. Man. That's what I'm saying. So That can work, man. Nah, everyone's man, everyone's man. got a story to tell, yeah, man. Yeah, and yeah, 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 as you yeah, said, there's a load of lost files. And if you can bring them together, you can sort of paint a picture of... Remember Zola as well? Yeah. Yeah, Zola. Uh, Zola uh, back in them days. Zola, Viper. Yeah, Viper. It's yeah, man. Man. Be a man still. It's I mean, man. There, there, there's loads of... Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi. There's loads of, like, old school vets that are not getting, like, ailed mm. up. Mm. Get me. Yeah, she, she. PD, Telly. Yeah, yeah, mm. definitely. Get me. Mm. Big up PD, mm. big up Telly. <laughs> yeah. Smiler. Yeah. Smiler. Yeah. yeah. Get me. Big up the dogs. Nutcracker as well. Get me. The man have been about, yeah. You better mention Nutcracker because if man, I didn't mention him, you'll yeah. be pulling me up <laughs> when I see him next. You know, he's costing man. Well, RD, yeah, yeah RD, he's he's me. And RD. I, I rate too. RD to this day. Yeah. RD is sick. Yeah. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? But he's one of them who was about them days as yeah, well. Yeah, but yeah, as you know what I mean, the man were young. Yeah. You know what I mean? What? You know, different stations and mm. they're, they're, they're all pumping like they're doing different sort of. Music, you know, Silk played a different sort of garage, mm-hmm. like it was more of a sweet boy flip. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? The only time it got really a bit grimy was when you had your, your you know what I mean? See, GT. I love the sweet boy garage, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? We had your GT, Rizla P. That's mm-hmm. when it sort of got a bit darker. When you yeah, had them yeah, man yeah. on a set, you can play certain instrumentals, but mm-hmm. it, was, it wasn't enough for a whole set. Mm-hmm. So you had to sort of mix it up where these men would then host up. The, the thing and then as you got to sort of like your walkies and stuff mm. like that where it gave you that little bit that's when these mans 
would come in. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and over the years, it was like started to be less vocals in the garage, mm. and then you had your, your, your tunes like Hello and you know what I mean, them DJ Zinc sort of things yeah, and yeah, sort yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, you don't know them. That the, period the, there was probably <laughs> you're talking your crossover, like when sort of grime was then introduced mm. as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then garage went one way. So how did you find the crossover going into grime? As I've always said, um, the moment I heard grime, I was like, yeah, this is me. Sure. Mm. This is what I'd be looking for. Mm. This is what I was looking for in garage that was never there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But don't get it twisted. I love I love garage. Mm -hmm. You get me? But when grime come and it was just gritty. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, like Do you this some is... of your favourite grime MCs from the city? Um what you mean from from Brom? Brom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got loads, you know, Arrayth, Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil. Yeah, yeah. Badness, C4, Hitman, Triller. Yeah. I like Bomber B, one of my yeah. favourites. I like Temper as well. Yeah. yeah so mate. you're a proper veteran, you know. Mm -hmm. You see how we just be pop them names off, yeah, no yeah, hesitation, of course, no yeah. joking. Is mate, that you get me? me? Deadly, mate. See, I don't really class Triller as grime, you know. I class him as more bass -liney. That's probably yeah. when I got introduced to him, well, though. You get what I'm well, saying? Triller was doing grime. Okay. Triller's doing Rock grime. Baseline. Mm. Yeah, doing, that I know, that's what I'm saying. Triller's doing it. grime before Baseline. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. Baseline come after. You get me? When obviously when Triller jumped on the baseline, like mm. he's he's he's, he's got it in it. Why not? Yeah, why yeah. not? But yeah, Triller's a man that we need put the city on the map. Like, yeah, well, definitely. Trust me, definitely, man. He was one of them that mm. that that did it, man. Because he was on Westwood in London yeah, 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 years yeah, yeah. ago, years ago. And mm. I think it was probably only Devil Man that was down there at the time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So really, them two was probably like one of the first to be. Sort of trying to like see devil man could have beat Skepta in that clash. Me personally, I think it was a draw. The devil man, um, Skepta clash. But um, if he just says about if he just said one lyric right, he would have won that clash and I won that how his career would have went still. But that was yeah, a he's still was doing his thing, I suppose. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Now he's still doing it, he's still doing it. All I can say it was it was a good clash, and it? it was yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's different when you're there, man. Was yeah. there? So like, nah, oh, I went oh, oh. there. It is, but I'm just saying, like when you're yeah, when in you're putting yeah, 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 when yeah. you're putting that position where it's on you, like it's mm. you, you start thinking a lot different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, like you obviously you've watched the video in it and you've seen mm. how much man was there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I heard he went I mean? there on his own as well. Yeah, even that. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that played a part, but mm. what I'm saying is you can plan something out, mm -hmm. but then when you go there, it, 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 you know what I mean? It, situations can make it different. Mm. I mean, it was a, either way, it was still a good opportunity for him. Yeah, you know yeah, what no, I mean? definitely, and, definitely. You know, so. obviously, the, the, you know, the two men have, you know, the, obviously, Skepta's gone his way yeah. and Devil's gone his way. You know what I mean? So it, it was a good opportunity for the two men because that's still a legendary clash. Mm, I mean, time. that will always be talked about. No, nah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. What other clashes have you liked in the rhyme times? Uh, I like. I like J1 and Murky Ace, mm -hmm. the Lord of the Mics free. Yeah. I think that's good. I think J1 surprised a lot of people. Mm -hmm. but even in Murky Ace, is still level, and I think it was a, it was a good match-off. Mm -hmm. I like the Rival and Desperado one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. that was hard as well. I think the, the lyrical ability from both of them, and because I had mm -hmm. never heard the two <coughs> bar, set of bars before, when I'm listening to it, I'm thinking like, nah, this is, they're going at it differently. You know what I mean? And then, you know, Obviously, I, I like the clashes because it, it brings out, you say, it just brings out a different person in, yeah, in the character MC. And it's character yeah. building and all that, man. There's one on a recent Lord of the Mics, um, J0017 versus Tommy B. If you ain't watched that one, watch it. The, 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 the lyrical, the lyrical. Are these on YouTube, would you have to buy them? Nah, you know what? It's actually on YouTube. It's, it's, it's actually on YouTube, you yeah. know. Tommy B, Tommy B <laughs> versus J0017. Mm -hmm. I think it's Lord of the Mics 8. Yeah. That is a good, that is a, a clash of where you can see like lyrical ability, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, from the two artists as well. So yeah, they're on YouTube, just yeah, watch yeah, them yeah. and uh, man them go at it. Yeah, yeah, so no. when you oh. first heard that grime, you said you knew it was your thing? Yeah, definitely man. And I started to just... You started to just build up that collection. Yeah, yeah, just buy records. I spent a lot of time in London listening to like the, the, the pirate stations and that and seeing like, you know, what's really going on. You know what I mean? Because when I first heard it, I was actually in London, I was just mm. flicking through. 
stations and then I'm just hearing this whoop, whoop, like yo me this one yeah, man. and it was it was pay as you go at the time mm-hmm. yeah, man. It, was, it was pay as you go that I was on at the time I'd say oh, let me you use a DJ at this time though as well isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah I was actually in London like shopping for records because okay. mm. that everyone went to the same record shop everyone mm. knew when Tempest's release was and when the new tunes come in so on that day it's ram mm. you go to London they're Couple of weeks, couple of weeks like ahead, f- ahead yeah. Because mm, obviously yeah. the music's been produced, a lot of mm. it's been produced down there, isn't it? You know what I mean? So down there, like getting the tunes, and you mm-hmm. can play it for a good two weeks before you hear a next DJ playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? So that was the place where to to shop was down London. Obviously, you're still shopping, bro, and get your bits. But you know that everyone's getting it at that time. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, going yeah. to Tempest, you see all the DJs in there. Mm. And you're going to Depot, and you see all the DJs in mm-hmm. there. So they're all. Back then, when a tune sell off, sell out, it's gone. You can't get it. Or, or what? what's the sketch? You know what? They come out on white label first. Yeah. White label is literally a white label. That's yeah. it. White label, and you probably had a tag on it, old one, something like that. I remember you don't Triple know. Three come out, and no one had that. Only a few. Yeah, months. and you don't know who made it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. me. And say hundred, two hundred copies of them. Once they're gone, then you have to wait ages for the tune to come mm. out on its original label, like Social okay. Circles or one of them. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. best that you get the white labels, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. obviously, as soon as you hear that, yeah, mm. delivery day on Depot or delivery mm. day on Tempest, like, you know to get there that day. You get there mm. any later, or all the bangers are gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what, though? That's, I, I prefer the game like that, you know? Yeah. Because now, managers downloading, downloading, everyone's yeah, playing, and every, everyone's the playing same it. Set. Like, you know, just show some respect for your craft and get up early. Listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get up well, they, early. Get them times was about, like, it was it was like eight ninety nine one record, a tenner. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I remember, yeah, I remember man saying, like, like, nah, this DJ's got better tunes than mine, yeah, man. Like, you yeah. know, back in the day, like, mm-hmm. so... The man that must have had a better selection. Oh, and then when, when DJ started making their own tunes, yeah, that must That's have been a game changer. Oh, changed definitely, everything. yeah, changed everything. Yeah. Um, Nitrate, yeah, you know what I mean. When he, he he started making his tunes, like he made his Rocky anthem and that, and put his two MCs on there, that was a game changer. Okay, that was a shutdown. Well, I don't think he ever released that. He just oh. has that as a personal tune, and he still plays it to this day. He's the first. He's the first DJ you see. Make a tune like on his own behalf. You know, that's what DJs do that these days. Like what, what DJ Nitro is the first man you see do that years Him, ago. Him, Jaspino. Okay. That that made their own tunes back. You know what I mean? Like back in the day. And obviously, other DJs then started to do it. Okay. 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 You know I mean, and I. I, I I still, f- you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's something exclusive when you, mm-hmm. you make a tune in it. So, you know what I mean? It could, obviously, everyone's doing it now, but it's about, you know, what sound have you got that, that stands no out? So, how have you remained relevant, like, after all these years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> everyone would say, yo, DJ, yeah, DJ Mikey. Mikey. Everybody, yeah. everybody, um, everybody would say Everybody that. would say that. Obviously, I still do what I do in it. Like, I still mm-hmm. do sets opportunities when they come. I still do radio. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I still do bookings when they come in it. But mm-hmm. I just, well, I, ca- I can't pump the time in now as I did have back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, back then, uh, I didn't have a job then, so I could actually mm-hmm. push every bit of time that I had. Well, obviously, now is different. I've got family now. You get me? <coughs> I've got a job now, so I have to, as I say, I have to balance it. Uh, and I, I think it's just, you know, the fact that you've got things like YouTube that are around now, where you can actually document something and stick it on there and it stays there forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But back in them days, there was no, there was no YouTube. There was no mm-hmm. internet. Yeah, no mm. internet. There was no internet at all. You had to tape something and, Trust me. you know what I mean, make mm. it circulate. Like, you know, when you hear about MC, then you finally see him, but... Like, mm. like didn't you know didn't know what yeah, yeah, yeah because you didn't it, know anything because there was no there was, there was no nothing. there was no YouTube back then mm. as you said then you, you know people did documentaries like AV with the um, Birmingham mic controllers, mic controllers yeah, yeah. but if there was none of that going on around you know what I mean unless you knew a certain person you wouldn't know, mm-hmm. you know what they looked like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean you just have to listen to them on the radio 
I remember that Birmingham might control this DVD. Mm, and I think that that put a lot of faces to voices for people. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's oh, bro, I've seen him. I didn't know yeah, that was yeah, him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, as we said, like people only heard. They heard because they was listening on tapes, mm. mini disc. There weren't even CDs about them times, or CDs were, were very very early yeah, and yeah. weren't being used. But it was more tapes and mini discs that you'd used to take you show you'd ask somebody to tape it and then that's how it would circulate mm. I mean and if your cousin from London came up and then you recorded it and get him and then they took it back down and mm. it could circulate down there but that I remember that, that Dizzy Rascal set first Oof. circulated blood them skunk out ones yes blood mm. oh my that, come, that was like what early 2000s yeah. remember yeah. that was everybody needed that DJ Slimsy and that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. what <laughs> classic shit you don't yeah. know you, yeah, you no, don't, don't know, know bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God, you Listen, see me Mikey look. I'm sitting next Listen. to the veteran and I'm quoting names and um, and then and then things. Remember, you know, but my <laughs> neighbor was GT and that, you know, RD classic. So Do you know who my neighbors were? <laughs> That's what exactly what you just said. Then, <laughs> then my the brother, so I, I was getting woken up by these tune sets when I'm going out and seeing mm. Mushkin and that on my road and <laughs> you bloody <laughs> <laughs> I swear now I'm going to go back to my house but I see yeah MCs and that blood it was crazy nah, nah, mm. man, as I said it's you know it's different man and as I said mic controllers put a lot of voices to faces that's yeah. when people knew who this person was and yeah you know what he looks like God, there's no YouTube you know what I mean so it had to be when them DVDs and people filmed them you know, he was able to watch them back. So you know how do you mean? feel when um, people say, like, Grime's dead? <sighs> Everyone's got their opinion, innit? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, gonna say that? I've heard it before. <laughs> so, <laughs> it really, it don't really bother me, if you want me to be totally honest. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. not the first time I've heard it. Heard it a couple of years ago. Heard it a couple of years before that. See, I won't just... say it's dead, but... I would say it's kind of a hard genre to break through and like would you say all right would you say like a jk is a grime artist or like yeah, a rapper stepped up from grime artist Who's Jake? Now? He's an artist now jk's, JK's an artist yeah yeah artist. Art, an artist isn't it jk's an artist yeah. he's an artist he, he can he'll, he'll he can he still is a grime mc see this is what is an artist like artist artistry mm. what is an artist what would you class a, a saf one as an mc or like an artist as well an artist artist Artists, these did the, all these men that put out music, and you can get it whether you can download it for free or whether you can buy it. You're an artist, mm. it's what they you know, what I mean, like JK's still a grime MC. Mm. He slap a grime beat on, and JK will JK will ride that. You still see him on sets, he's on mm-hmm. the Surf Spiral set, mm-hmm. but he's got a garage tune out now. JK's yeah. an artist, yeah, yeah, he's not yeah. just a grime MC, he's an artist, like you put something in front of him that he likes. He'll, 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 he'll light it up for you. Mm-hmm. And so will any of these men, Trilla, Saf, mm-hmm. any of these men that are releasing music, they're artists. You know what I mean? There's a, How many of these men's music have you listened to where it's just 100% grime? Mm. Who's who CD can you say now is just fully grime? No, don't go like that. Don't listen I to don't, this yeah. guy. Yeah, no. I don't think there's, it there's, there's There's different music on there. Yeah. You look at Look at Saf's CD. Mm. There's different tunes on there. Mm. I mean, there'll be a few grime. There'll be a few hip hop ones as well. Maybe a drill one. Like, yeah, but that's artist. what I mean, though. Who's a who's? Why don't no one just do pure grime and like? Because it's make not, that it's work. You gotta uh, go on. You, you're the big man. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm trying to understand it. Why no one don't really just do? I'm pure grime. I'm saying why not? Why not go out and 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 do other genres? Mm. Like, if you got the you got the confidence and the talents to do, do it, why not? I know. Mm. Just being silly. Why stick to <laughs> why just stick to grime if you can do grime? If you're you an MC it, or whatever, yeah. whatever, and you hear a, a a beat that isn't a grime beat, but it's still like, yo, I could get skippy on this, and mm. and and you jump on it. Like, but that's what I'm saying though. Like, what, what are you saying? Some man, don't know. Would, some I'm man would kind of say that's kind of selling out. Like that's the, is that kind of the argument yeah. Wiley has. With people, or his, his argument, people going commercial. I'd, I think, all right, I, I think Wiley's argument is people leaving grime mm-hmm. and then when it don't go right for you, coming back. This is what, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, let me just stress, this is what I think Yeah. from listening to the Pulse and mm-hmm. that. 
this is only what I think. Uh, it could mm. be a load the of rubbish. Of talk, yeah. yeah, it's this just the perspective mm. Mm. of talk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like my argument is like, who who is it for anyone to say you can only do one genre? Mm -hmm. Like, why why not? Music's music, isn't it? Like, why why should just you stick to grime? Mm -hmm. Like, it's 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 a personal choice. But I think it, it, it's better if an artist can do different music because it shows a little bit of versatility. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. It, it can also, as an artist, appeal to a, a, a different crowd. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, it, it can appeal to different collaborations and different... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, so what I, if you go I commercial? So. Like, I do, yeah. Yeah. I just think you'd be dafted. Listen, <laughs> listen to me, Big Mike. If you get my bed over there, a the couple of bags hit him up and that, yeah? I'm saying, the current scene, so you're at all the statesmen of the scene and that, the grime scene. How is, how you, how is the scene right now today and what it needs to happen more? To it, it could be better. It mm -hmm. could be better. Um, there needs to be, obviously with the pandemic, you can't have mm, more true. events. True. You know what I mean? But I think there's, needs to be a lot more music to be released mm. um you know i think when everyone was on lockdown it was a time for people to you know what let me write bars let me go to studio producers will build beats whatever and i do believe that probably you know come soon people will have a lot of projects to be released and hopefully when they start opening up venues and that there can be more events but you know what I mean? With, with, with the lockdown thing, nothing can't really happen apart from visuals. Mm. You know what I mean? Then, you know, even even studios, have, certain studios have been cancelled where people go and, you know, rent out to do sets and that. It's only like if you've got a personal thing or, a, you know what I mean, mm. a, a setup where it's yours, well, you, you know a man who's close to you, but all the your sort of your oxygen room issues or, stuff like that everywhere's going to be luck in it so you know i mean i'm not just talking like in the midlands i'm talking mm, like yeah, you know anywhere way, where yeah. you know <laughs> man themselves are we going to do a a, a grind thing or we're going to do and film this and for whatever reason can't get to do it so the pandemic has it's, it's, it's hit a lot of things it's only the events are just starting to to come back now but as i said it 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 could be better but it's definitely not dead if it was dead mm. that i mean it wouldn't be there you know what i mean yeah. but just needs to be a bit more in it. Mm. 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 All right. Mm. Somebody says it's dead. That's their perspective. Like, don't mm. get me wrong. There's other music that that's popping, like drills popping. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna lie, I do. I like listening to it. I think, I, think, I, think, I think I think drill mm. sick. Drills drill. Grimes grime. Mm. You know what I mean, drill sick. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I I, I do I do listen to it. I think I mean the effect it has. Like before, you could be like. A sick grime MC, and like step up and do the next thing. Mm. Now I think like you could be a sick drill artist and blow in the big bag. Yeah, that's 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 what I mean when I say they say it drills the new grime. I know it's mm. the difference, but mm. these days, like the sickest grime artist, like it gets lost because there's so much other stuff going on. So that's how yeah, I feel. So no. you get me? Don't no. get me wrong. There's I see look one and two <coughs> people doing their thing. But no, I, I, I hear you still, but yeah, that makes I think sense. The, the main thing is to, to blow to a certain level, you have to be good. Mm. Mm. To, yeah, get to, to get to a certain <laughs> level, you're going to have to be good, true. isn't it? Yeah. See, that is the thing with grime, though. Most men are talented. Like, most grime rappers are talented. Like, yeah, it's a skill. You see, with drill, you could get on a beat and just talk, you stab, think? stab, whatever. Woo -woo, whatever, whatever, and bam, it's a hit. You get what I'm saying? Grimes a skill. You need to be lyrically good. You get me? It's, it's, it's arguable, you know. It's debatable. I don't know. I don't know. Drill. You could chat any shit on drill, man. I could jump on the drill beat. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Fair enough. I, th I still think to get to a certain level that you have Just to be good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to appeal to a lot of people. Mm. Mm. I mean, like if you could. If, if you can appeal to a lot of people, and they're gonna buy you stuff. Then you know what I mean, and the sales are gonna, you know what I mean, kind of numbers make you blow, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like it, it's 
it's about it's about being at a certain level. It doesn't mm. matter like like what you do. Like mm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to blow, you have to be good, in it. Like, let's let's be us. real. Like <laughs> to blow, you have to be good to get to a certain level. You have to be good. You have to be good at what you do. So you got coming next then future sets and ciphers and all these things and whatnot, whatnot. Oh, boy, I don't, I don't even know if you're serious. I just. Mm-hmm. I'm just one of them person that just takes the opportunities mm. like as uh, as they come, you know. As I say, with the social media thing, all my notifications are like turned off, mm-hmm. so it's not like I have to go on it every day. You get me? I'll just go on it when I feel like it. Mm-hmm. Could be a couple of days, could be a couple of weeks. Like I'm just not a I'm not a really social mm-hmm. media presence person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just I, do, I just use it because it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll post a picture on Instagram, but that picture will stay up for months <laughs> before I post <laughs> something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, I'm just not a social media. I'm just not a social media guy. I just don't find the time to sit down and go on social media you need for to get ages. One of them <laughs> just to run I it just, off, someone, man. Yeah, I just, you know, every now and again, you'll see me pop up, and you know what I mean. I'll send the one tweet or I'll retweet something or I'll post the one. <coughs> oh, but I'm just not you a need social to sort out old school, our old school chap shop. So nah, that would that would go off. I didn't talk about you before about that, didn't I? I'm sure yeah, I did. After, yeah, 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 there you go. I, so I knew it was in the making. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get that back up and running. Yeah, that that's can, what we gotta do. Yeah, that put that work, back in the air. I, I think everyone would be up for it. Yeah, no, I need yeah. doctor. Yeah, badness. Yeah, yeah, order. You hear me? Yeah, man. I think that's what we need to do. Be up for it, man. Serious. Yeah. Is so anything yeah. else you think you want to touch on? Think we missed anything? Good look of vibe, got insight into there, you know. Yeah, um, obviously we've literally only just like touched on silk, innit? And literally back in them days, what sort of like that's sort of the, the story that needed to be sort of documented, mm-hmm. innit? Car, you know, I mean, a lot of man's was really like usual, like, probably young them, yeah, I was mm-hmm. young, man. <laughs> exactly, you know what I mean? Them days, so as you said, there's. There's a lot of lost files, you know what I mean? But still, right, we're still, gonna, we're gonna build it back up and try yeah. to reconstruct all the local history. Yeah, you know, a documentary on it, you know, like the whole, or the old school MCs and like. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Mm. And, uh, and, and Silk moved, did they? But there's they, no footage mean? though at all, though. Like we could do, a, you could do the documentary, but. Yeah, couldn't even dress back to yeah. anything like, mm, yeah. like a picture or something. Probably pictures and flyers. Mm, yeah, only a couple people had video cameras at yeah. the time, which was probably was only AV well. and probably Despa. Mm, I can't yeah. remember anyone else who had Did a Despa video. Did Despa used to MC? I don't think so. I'm not. I can't say. Mm. I'm not sure. What? Yeah, because it always seemed like he's been around, but he has. I didn't. He I'm has. Saying, but that, I as I said, the only two people that I knew that had a camera back them days was AV and Despa. No one else, no one else, I didn't know no one else that, that had cameras mm. back then. They were new technology back then. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, had yeah. a camera back then. It was like, yo. No, yeah, it was, it was, you know what I mean? That was, that was new technology back then. Mm. Yes. But then, you know, Silk, Silk did, you know what I mean? They, they, what would you say? They sort of went with the times as well. Because then you had like Midlands Mafia that was on. So it was mm. like Nutcracker Vader. One, you know what I mean. I was bringing people on the sets. Mostly it was like NLDB, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Deadly. Them was, and you, was you in Midlands Mafia? No, 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 okay. no. I've, I've, I've never really been part of a crew. Mm-hmm. I've done back to back with their DJs, mm-hmm. and I've been on their show, and they've been on mine, and we've done mm-hmm. sets too cold for the road. But yeah, I've never yeah. actually been part of Midlands Mafia. Get me, Mac would phone me if they can't get a DJ, you know what I mean? And I'd come in a DJ for them. We were close, but I was never, I wouldn't class myself as Midland Mafia. I've yeah, never, yeah. I, you know what I mean? I haven't been part of a crew. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? NODB with Mayhem and Deadly, Deadly and Fist. Fist and them, and uh, I wasn't part of NODB, but they, you know what I mean? A lot of the times when they come on was on my show. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, or if, you know what I mean? If Fiasco weren't DJ and then I'd just, you know, if there was an opportunity there. You know what I mean? If you see them at Oxygen Room, you know what I mean? We just link up and jump on set and that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know what I mean? And then, you know, them man's come on, NLDB, Midlands Mafia. Mm. You know what I 
obviously you can sort of see where the the music from Silk went there from being like the sweet boy yeah, yeah, yeah. to sort of embracing like yeah. this 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 darker <laughs> side. Don't get me wrong, the garage was still there because it was mm-hmm. it was a radio station. There was loads of slots to fill, so there was loads of garage mm-hmm. still playing there. A few drum and bass, but then. You know what I mean? There was room for, for these gri- more garagey sort of stroke grimy sets mm-hmm. where MCs could come on, where people could start spontaneously clashing or, you know what I mean, lyrics just, you know, flying. Because then you had the Deadly and Genie clash, mm. which was, yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. a landmark Genie. clash. In, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a landmark clash. Don't get me wrong, there was other clashes that had happened before that, like at the event, sort of the one that mm. was that um, Vader and Devil did. Mm-hmm. You know, I forgot what the event was called. Oh, the, the no, 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 no. The, 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 um, um, co- anybody clash? Yeah, yeah, no, bas- yeah, basically yeah, anyone like could come up and clash yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but yeah. even that, that wasn't documented. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And that should have been because that would have been like balls, you know, yeah. to do that, that would have been landmark yeah. stuff as well. But because the deadly and genie one was documented. Mm-hmm. That one is the landmark clash. Mm. Do you like remember the old school clash here, Brady versus Roland? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Somebody must have them. On, Roland on. come through a smoke. <laughs> Roland spun him. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Second, I think they had two clashes, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, one on the radio, one, one live. One live, but when I say Brady bullied at Roland. Yeah. Because he was white or something like that. See, so the same. big up Brady, though. Big, big up Brady. Brady that wasn't videoed, but mm. somebody has that on tape. Mm. Somebody somewhere has that on tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know what I mean, so that will always be legendary for like for Birmingham. Mm. You know what I mean? But people outside of Birmingham wouldn't even know what that clash is or what it was about. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, as we said, we've lost a lot of history. Yeah, definitely. But the people are still there. Yeah, that yeah. was part of that history. So the only mm. way to really document that now is to get them people that was part of it. Mm. Speak about it. Plug us in, man. Plug us into the Apart community. Apart from um, Fiasco back then, was there any female MCs like from them? Leisha. Oh, yeah, Leisha. Leisha would listen. Leisha was lethal. Mm. When Leisha come to radio, she shut down. And mm. Leisha was coming regular because was, Vader was bringing her. Mm. So she was on set with a bagger man, Midlands mm. Math, Nutcracker, mm. Shade One, MMT, Ryder, mm. RD. Like, these men are levels. Mm. Mm. Get me? And Leisha's coming in there and she's, 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 she's spitting with these men as a, as a, as a, a young soul female as well. Mm-hmm. There were no other females that was really like... Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was really like Leisha, <laughs> Fiasco... That was really at them times, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. Leisha was young, Fiasco was young. I yeah. mean, and Leisha used to come there to, to Midlands Mafia set with Vader. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so she had her work cut out because obviously mm-hmm. there's beer man yeah, and this yeah, yeah, yeah. and Leisha was Leisha was fitting in, like you know what I mean. Like she does this, mm-hmm. she's writing, and every week she's coming and she's shelling. Yes, yes, man. I mean, big so, stuff. Mm, yeah, man. She, you know, I mean, she definitely deserves to be where she is now because she's no, put in the work from when she's 100%. been young. You know what I mean? From she was young. <laughs> Big up, lady, lady. Yes. Yes. What's up? Yeah, hundred percent. You don't know work, bro. She's put in her graph for of course, <laughs> man. She's fit for years. Mm, mm. Don't know the don't know mm. star. So you need to work on the scene. I'm reconstructing history. Mm. Yeah, the next old school person. You can plug us in. Who else you want up here? Old school. school. For the Brom crew, like Doctor. Would that to come off and reason with us? I can't see why he wouldn't. Of course he would. I think any of the old school. I want school, Devil Man to be fair. Yeah, find Devil Man. Where's Devil Man? I can, I can, get, I can get him still. If. Yeah, I just have to convince you get me. The Devil will do it as well. Mm. I mean, Devil will do it. will do it, man. Yeah, Obviously, man. Nutcracker as well. If you yeah, Nutcracker's mean. G's been costing me a long time. Yeah, 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 nutcracker, nutcracker, well. He's got a lot of he's got mm. a lot of the Midlands Mafia history as mm. well. Yeah, he knows all the history. He's been telling yeah, me. Man. He pulled me aside. He told me a lot of stuff. From GT, <laughs> yeah, yeah. GT. He's hard to catch well? GT. As yeah, well. yeah, he's, 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 he's gone clear from the garage and old school scene. Now. You see what he's doing. <laughs> it's high life. Man. Just hanging out with my jammers and then he's gone clear. Yeah, but if you know what I mean, if you can if you can get him for an hour, man, like yeah. he's you know what I mean, he's got a lot of history as well. Yeah, if I make that happen, Kim. Yeah, I will, man. I'll try, man. I'll try. Mm. Yes, big Mike. Enough respect. Know, man. Appreciate, oh, man. Chen. 
Uh, thank you so for coming having me, through. Man. Yeah, you know the settings. Big up the sound, man, once again. Big up Times Media. Times Media. Yeah, man, big up, man. Mm, signing out, we're logging off.